I also ordered packaging. So we have a lot of packages from Amazon coming in. So this is all the stuff I've accumulated so far. These are just the flower cat sets, especially this heart one. It's very like Powerpuff Girl vibes. Here are all the ones I've done so far. I feel like they're pretty cute. Hi everyone, welcome to the vlog. Today, we are getting ready for the senior sale. I am literally so excited. This is gonna be like a thing ongoing for the week, but we're also doing a what I wear in a week video at the same time because I feel like I'm gonna show you guys what I wear in a week anyway because we're gonna get ready for the sale. So I feel like it was perfect, but yeah, I am currently getting ready for class right now. It is 12, 19, my class is at one and I have a YouTube video that is being uploaded right now on my computer and I am waiting for it so I can send it out. But this week is very exciting because I got accepted into, um, this sounds very prestigious, it's not prestigious, but RISD is doing a sale this Saturday for RISD illustration students. And I signed up for it and I'm in it. So they just told me yesterday, I really need to do my nails. Oh my God. They just told me yesterday that I got in. So I bought a bunch of stuff. Like I ordered a bunch of things to come in for this sale. I couldn't order anything until yesterday, which was Sunday, because that's when they let you know officially if you're in the sale or not. I didn't want to buy things that like I didn't need to. I'm going to be selling a bunch of things. I don't know if anyone has noticed the little ceramic babies that chill back there and that I made in a video a long time ago, but those are going to be sold. I showed this in a recent video, but I have a bunch of packs of stickers. I will be selling. I brought these home from Georgia and I have my business cards, which now I feel like I don't actually have enough business cards. And also I'm gonna be selling my silkscreen prints, which are currently in class. Just so many things are being sold and I am so, so excited. I've never done like a tabling experience and I've actually been talking to some friends that I know that do do tabling normally about how to do that. And it's something I'm really interested in, something I wanna do after RISD as well. So just so many things are happening, but I ordered two weeks ago, a bunch of stickers online. And if you guys don't know what the sticker ordering process is for when you design your own stickers. You basically have to wait like two weeks for them to be shipped to you. And so I was really hoping they'd be here on time and they just got delivered this morning. So we're gonna go and get them and I'm gonna take a peek before my class. I'm just so excited because let me show you what I ordered. But I ordered like over a thousand pieces of stickers. Obviously when you order stickers, you don't order like one of each, if that makes sense. So here they are. Obviously I'm gonna have to blur out the prices and everything, but we got more thank you stickers. The whale shark babies are coming back. These sparkle stickers. We got some big hammy stickers. These two are two inches big because I just really love the design from before. This one was actually a mistake from manufacturing previously where they accidentally sent me a bunch of big ones and I kind of love them so I reordered them. And then these are the ones I'm most excited about. I redid the flower cat stickers. These are so cute. I am so excited to be receiving them. So we're gonna go and get them right now from the mailroom and they look like they're gonna be super cute. This is like the biggest sticker I've ever made. Two and a half inches by by two inches. So I'm just literally so excited to be getting them. I also ordered packaging. So we have a lot of packages from Amazon coming in. And we have envelope stickers, sticky plastic sheets, backing boards for prints. I need to package all my prints later this week. Just so many things to do. So I am so excited. Oh my God. So yeah, that's what we are doing today. But I actually woke up early enough for once to go eat breakfast slash lunch. It's basically lunchtime. It's 1230. So yeah, let's go ahead and go eat. And then we're going to go to the mailroom and get my package. Oh my God. I am so excited. Ah, woo! But first, let's have a quick word from today's sponsor. I like to thank the sponsor of today's video, which is Native. Native makes personal care products that can come plastic free to your door. And so you know that you're making a difference by reducing single use plastic. I was sent some of their products to try and I've been using these for a while now. They have the lilac and white tea deodorant as well as the cucumber and mint. And these smell literally so good. And they come 100% plastic free, which is so amazing. It even says it on the top of the container. They are also paraben free and aluminum free. They also sent me a baked by Melissa tie dye vanilla cupcake which i actually haven't seen before oh my god it smells so good wait 
amazing. I've been using these deodorants for a while and I haven't had any problems with them being sticky or anything like that, so I'd highly recommend them. And they have a 24 hour protection, so you are good for the entire day when you use them. They gave me a code for you guys to try, which is Wang, my last name. And three of these plastic free deodorants would normally be $39. But if you use my code and link, which I will have down below, you can actually get them for $26, which is like over 30% off. And you can also get 20% off any body wash or toothpaste. And their improved packaging is 100% plastic free, made with 90% post-consumer recycled paper and recyclable packaging as well. So thank you again, Native. Definitely go and check them out. I would highly recommend them. Thank you, Native, so much for sponsoring today's video. And now, back to the vlog. Alrighty, we're gonna pack for class. I need my iPad. I drew this last night for my silkscreen class is what it looks like. And yeah, I think it's cute. It's got capybaras and like yuzus and stuff. I don't know, that's been my vibe lately. Yeah, but I'm also gonna work on thumbnails and stuff during class for YouTube. I have a lot of YouTube to do this week too. So overall, just like a really busy week. So yeah, love that, wow. Here's the fit for today. I haven't finished yet. Also, doesn't this look like a two-piece like situation? It's not, it's like that. But like when I saw it on the model, I literally thought it was. So Peace Bird is a super cool company. I've been wearing a lot of their clothes lately and a lot of you have been asking me where my clothes have been from from them. So I'm gonna show you guys all the pieces that I've received from them because they were so kind as to send me a bunch of new clothes, which like I really liked. It's winter spring right now and it's really helping me like transition out of that. They actually have two branches. One is called Peace Bird, which is for like 20 and up estimated range. And then the other one is Leiden, which is like 18 and below kind of vibes. Today, we are wearing this so far. Yeah, yeah, I feel like this goes really well with, with this jacket. This top is from Peace Bird, and then the other pieces are just like my own clothes. But yes, it literally, ah, it looks so cute. I love it. And this, this has literally been my favorite leather jacket I've ever had. It's like super oversized. And I'm just gonna layer it over this jacket because you guys know, uh, Providence weather and how cold it be. I've worn this jacket so much and you guys have all been asking me where I got it. So it's from Peace Bird. But yeah, this is the fit for today that we're gonna wear to class. Um, I need to put on a necklace and stuff. But yeah, other than that, I think we are good to go. Here's the lunch for today from the cafeteria. It's like ramen. I don't know why they put in these Tupperware containers, but this is their version of ramen, I suppose. So yeah, this is lunch. Okay, so this is the trick that I've learned to keep my paper straws from bending when I put them in drinks is that I fold back the tabs, but we're gonna get ready to go to class and my classroom is right next to the mail room. So we're just gonna grab my mail real quick. And this is everything I got. So many packages and this is not even all of them. More are gonna be coming in later in the week, but got my envelopes that ended up being bigger than I imagined. And then all of my stickers, which is like the most exciting part. So we got my flower cat ones. We got the big hemi ones they look so good oh my god and the new and updated like flower cat ones so those are really exciting i also got more of these ones that i just need to restock so some of these you guys have probably seen before but i'm just so excited getting like sticker packages is always the most exciting thing ever okay i'm back from class already um class was literally like two hours today which is insane because normally it goes till 6 p.m. So I'm back. I just have to submit some files online. Many things happened while I was in class. Firstly, I got my package. I'm so happy. So we got all our stickers in the mail, which is like one of the biggest things I'm gonna be selling this week. We got, ah, we got the flower cast stickers. I am so happy. These are the ones I've been waiting for that I showed you guys this morning. We got the flower cat ones. These are the baby bunny ones. We needed some more of those. We got some of these big ones. These are some OG stickers from my Etsy that I used to sell, but I no longer carry because I sold all of them. We got the new flower cat ones. I'm going to unbox all of these. The two Hemis. So I ordered these like weeks ago. I got 500 of these whale sharks because last time I ordered 200, sold out of them. I ordered 200 more and I sold out of them. So I got 500 this time because I'm tired of you guys. Not actually, thank you so much. But like, we got little peppies. And then we got the tiny little uh, you suck ones. And then sticker app always sends like a little sheet of stuff, I don't really know. Oh, downloadable brush set, only for Procreate, cool. I don't know. But yeah, this box is now useless. But I think I'm gonna do some packaging today for stickers because also uh, 
I got the little baggies in the mail. I used to use a different little baggie. I thought I'd switch it up a bit and if I don't like them, I'm just gonna order the old ones. Envelopes. So I mostly got these to ship out things because as of right now, I'm not mailing anything out, but I will be after the sale. So we got this. But let's go ahead and open these because I don't know if I showed you guys this, but I made this little thing. This is just my business card, but it's just a tin, but it has my stickers in it. And I've been bringing this around with me because my professors have been interested in what I've been doing, first of all. But second of all, I actually do need to show them like my work most of the time. So let's, let's open some of these. Where are my cute pink scissors? I don't like opening these all the way for now because I have nowhere else to put them. But I've been putting two of each sticker in my little sticker box. So this is two of them. My fingers have become trained to feel when the stack is one or two stickers, but here are the You Suck ones. So cute. My teacher said these should be sparkly and if they sell really well, then I will make the sparkly version. But if they don't, then no sparkly for you. These are the old Your Ugly stickers. These have been revamped. Let me show you what they used to look like. They used to look like this and now they look like that. I changed the colors to kind of match my current vibe more, but I think they look really, really cute. I like the new one for sure, but I think it can still be tweaked. I'm always tweaking something. So yeah, next time I order these, they'll be a little bit different again. But let me get another one of these out of here. Where are these ones? These ones are the ones I was really excited about because you know what my vision is for these? I wanna sell these in a three pack. And what you do is whenever someone's annoying you or like pissing you off, you stick this on them. Ta-da, I don't like you. And then they get three chances. It's like three strikes, you know? Once they got three of them, you, you, you kick them to the curb, you know? I don't know. Uh, but I thought these were so cute. It says warning, I do not like you a lot. And so I'm putting three of those in my little tin. My tin is getting full now. My professor will be excited. I really like this hard design. And I also made this a print yesterday and I ordered my Star Guardians. Or is that what they're called? I don't know if they're actually called Star Guardians, whatever I ended up calling them. I made those into prints into a set of four. And then I made my baby bunnies into a set of six, I think or however many pages that is. And I also formatted specifically this heart guy to be a print. That's the only one I formatted to be a uh, print. But those will be here, I think this Friday, which is cutting a little bit close, but like, I mean, if they're not here, I have another sale that I'm gonna be participating in later this semester anyway. So yeah, but here are the, the Zoom ones. I'm glad that the colors turned out pretty good. Um, I have shopped from this manufacturer before, so I was pretty confident in it, but like, so this goes with the fire vibes and I think I'm doing just like an overall fire kind of thing. I like the way they look, so I'm probably gonna keep doing it. But yeah, those are all the new, new ones. And then these ones are kind of restocks, although I did reformat the big hammies to be prismatic stickers. We got two of the puppies. So if you guys don't know, these were my hammies. Puppy and fish are their names. And then I just got like them made into the big stickers. I really like this design when they were the tiny ones, the tiny little clear stickers. Now we got them as big prismatic stickers and they're very pretty. So we got puppy and then we also got fish Mao, Mr. Fishman. Ah! Look at him go! He's flying! He's absolutely flying! I love him! So there they are. And then we got the baby puppies. Dun dun! So cute! So these are the OG ones, but I got them designed in my new colorway, if that makes sense. So I originally had my thank you stickers all this size, but then I made them smaller on accident one time. Let me find them in this box. Now there's so many stickers in here, I'm so happy. I actually have one of the original stickers in here as well. A long, long time ago, like a year ago probably, these were my original thank you stickers. And then I wanted to design them in a new colorway. So I had the original ones and the new ones, but I accidentally shopped them to be too small. So they look like that. And so I wanted to bring back this size. So I did it in the new colorway and they are so pretty. I just love this new color palette. It looks so cute. Ah! So I will be giving these out at my sale this Saturday. I have more of these at home. I didn't completely sell out of them before I left, but 
I basically sold out of them, so I had to restock them. At this point, a lot of my stuff is restocking and not so much like ordering new stickers, which is less exciting at times, but still very fun. It's also like really relaxing though when you know exactly what it's gonna look like and there's no like surprises, you know? So there they all are. And then we got the whale sharks, which have been a staple. I started selling these online in packs of five and 10 and people seem to really enjoy that too. So I'm happy about that. But here they are, little whale sharks. They have the scientific name and they're very cute. So yeah, that's my box of little stickers is expanding by a lot. So yeah, I think we can also just like package some of these guys. I'm gonna see the quality of these bags that I got. I got polka dot ones and I got the flower ones just because it's like spring. I thought it'd be nice. The quality of these bags are definitely not as good as the ones I had before, but I think they'll do the trick. It'll be fun. You know, a little polka dot never hurt anybody. So I think later today I'm gonna package some of these, but first I need to finish the stuff I was doing. So first thing I need to do, I made some changes to my assignment in class because we got crit today. So now my poster design looks like this, shop local. So I just have to upload the files to my class. And I also, during class, got the okay from one of my sponsors. So I'm going to be making that video live as well. I think I'll do the video first, just because I really need to upload a video, but yeah. I'm very happy. Good day, good day. It's been a good day so far and it's only four o'clock, not even. So I might even go to the gym later. I don't know. I'm gonna get some work done real quick. Woo. So right now I'm trying to figure out the packaging. I did this one as the first one. Um, it looks cute on camera actually, but in person I hate it. I don't know. This is what my packaging used to look like. It was these little clear baggies. Definitely better quality. I will probably not be using this again, as in like, I will not be purchasing it again, but I already have them, so I'm gonna use them. But I have these as well. But for the flower cat ones, I first did this. Did not think it um, looked very good. Then I did this and I feel like it just doesn't need the tape. So then I started doing them like this vertically with the pink and I think this looks a lot better. So these are my flower cat packs and I'm gonna keep going at them. I also have little stickers that are gonna come in the mail for pricing. So I will be able to label each of them. I wanna label each of them because I will probably start forgetting at some point how much things cost and I want to make sure the pricing is there. But yeah, so we're just going through putting my business cards. This way I also don't have to Remember to give each person a business card. It'll just like be in here, you know? And I am having fun. So normally I put the thank you sticker like on the top, but I've actually been putting them back here, facing this way. So you can see on this side. And I put these in the front. That's pretty much how I've been packaging them. I'm gonna keep going. I love doing this part. I think packaging is like really, really fun. So just wish these bags were fitting, but like that's okay, I guess. But there we go. This one's actually a bit different because this one has my face at the top, but like, it doesn't really matter. But yeah, I'm gonna go through and package a bunch of these. Woo! So the sun is setting. I did like 20-ish of these. I don't know how many to do because I don't wanna underprepare, but I think I'd rather, well, I don't know. I keep going back and forth between like, I'd rather underprepare than overprepare and I'd rather overprepare than underprepare. But uh, these are just the flower cat sets. And I think that's one of the only sets I'm able to really put together. I was gonna do a like all set, like a, these are all the stickers I sell set. And I might still do a couple of those. But I think most people are probably just gonna pick out their own stickers and buy like a couple at a time. But yeah, these are the ones that I have. And then I also just like put a bunch of thank you stickers and business cards into the sleeves so that when they do just pick a couple, I can just slide them in here and they will be ready to go. They all have like little thank you stickers. And lastly, I organize all of them. And you guys saw that I cut them. I always, always, I've ordered from this place like six times. I always forget that they come in ziplocs so i went and repaired every single bag so that i can continue to use them i literally love these so much i think they're so cute i think that's it for today so i will see you guys tomorrow
Hello everyone, it is the next day. Today I have to do some homework. I actually skipped this morning class because I was so exhausted. I woke up, it was at nine. I woke up and I was like, I can't do this today. I'm gonna go back to sleep. And I think it's because like, I almost never get a good night's sleep when I have to wake up that early, but I slept at 12 the night before and I still was too tired. So I was like, I don't know what's going on, but I'm, I'm sleeping in tonight. So now we're here at a more Tiffany friendly time, but I have some stuff I need to do today and one of them is screen print. But first I'm gonna actually prepare some more of these little things because I just think they look so cute. This looks like there's only one in there. I swear there's three pieces in there. There's three of the little heart guys and then there's also one of these. I just think they're so cute. So I'm gonna work, um, package a few more of them because I'm just so excited for this sale. And also we're gonna go, I'm gonna screen print some stuff. I'm also going to get my packaging materials from the mail room today. And we're gonna cut down some of the prints that I have because I have one here. But this Saturday, I'm also gonna be selling some of my silk screen prints. This is one of them and they come out pretty good, I think. This was one of my first time screen printing, so they're better now. But yeah, but also let me show you the fit for today, sponsored by Peace Bird. So here's the fit for today. We have this skirt from them, which I think is so cute. It's like this double tiered skirt. And it's probably my favorite tennis skirt. I've wanted like one like this for a while, but it just like never really worked with like my body shape, I feel like. I don't know, I didn't like the way all the other ones looked on me because I felt like this part was always super long, but I really like the fit of theirs and it doesn't feel like a really long skirt because it's double tiered. So like, I think it's so cute, woo! And then my top is from Uniqlo from a while ago and I have my beanie on. But yeah, here's the fit for today. I think it looks so cute. So we're gonna get some work done now. Let's do some packaging and I'm really excited. These are actually the ones that I had before on my Etsy shop. I don't know if you guys recognize them, but I made a pack a while ago that was basically my favorite top picks. And so these are just some leftover that I had that I brought from home. And so I figured I would try to sell these during the sale and so i'm just doing my normal packaging stuff which is just like sealing the packaging and then putting some washi tape on the top to make it look finished and this is just like my process that i normally do so this is not anything revolutionary but i just have to get these prepared for the shop anyway so yeah here's how i'm doing it i had like 10 of them or so and i sell them for like 20 dollars. so if these sell well then it will be good income but if they don't that's okay i'll sell them on etsy so here they all are so cute so yeah, I got ready. I did everything. This is what they all look like. I alternated the different colors because I just felt like it would look better. Um, I didn't want to use up all of my cute tape. So this way when they're like in the display, they'll look good. But these are all I have of this specific pack. I don't know if there will be any more of these when I start selling them. So this is, this is them. And I put everything in a container so that it looks cuter. So this is what the current display. So this is all the stuff I've accumulated so far far we have those that i did yesterday and then i just did these i don't have much else to do but we're gonna do the prints later today so that's gonna be fun but yeah let's go ahead and go screen print yeah also this skirt is really cute but i am gonna change out of it for screen printing really quick and i'm gonna change back into it when i go and hang out with my friends later so yeah just because it's not the most practical but it's like it's what i gotta do you know you gotta you gotta change fits okay we gotta go with the flow so i'm gonna find some other piece bird clothes to put on. <laughs> Quick little fit check. Very different from what I was wearing earlier. I found with screen printing specifically, it's so much easier to have like a tank top on so that I don't have to constantly worry about, about getting paint on my shirt. Sorry, they're like geese outside and they're really distracting. I'm gonna wear this jacket from Peace Bird. And this jacket is so cute. Like it's a little cropped, like little snow jacket. It's still kind of cold outside, but not completely. So these are the vibes. I'm gonna put on some white shoes and we're gonna go, we're gonna go print. Yeah. The weather is so nice today. Oh my God. But we are heading over to my studio so that we can do some screen printing. I was supposed to get my acetates printed out yesterday by the TA, so hopefully they're there and they're done. But yeah, let's do it. Woo, let's be productive today. Also, I just got a notification that my Amazon packages have arrived. Currently trying to dig out my card from my bag. 
So time for the mail room. Like I said, the mail room is like right next to my studio. So I was planning to go do some screen printing, but that actually doesn't pan out. And I'll talk about that in a bit. But here's all the mail that I got. Like I said, everything's just coming in in waves. So as you can see, this is my like backing. And then I have some little stickies for pricing and just so many things, so many boxes, so much stuff. And yeah, I got this little container that has a bunch of little drawers in it. So I'm excited to fill stickers in. So that'll be a lot of fun. But we're gonna stop by the studio real quick and I was anticipating on being able to do some printing but basically like I said I have to get my acetates printed out and they were not printed yet so I was not able to do that part but I was able to just grab some of my prints from my drawer and I was cutting them to size so that they would fit in my new packaging and here I am actually testing one of the packagings because I wanted to see what it looked like and these sleeves were actually a little bit short so I had to cut my stuff a little bit short and that was really annoying but it turned out okay Okay, I guess so yeah I just have to keep working at it but I packaged up a couple of my cheer up posters that I made a while ago as you can see this is the blue and green color variant but I have a lot of different colors so I'll be pricing them depending on how many of them I have and like how good the print is how well everything is registered which basically means how well all the layers are lined up and that's how I price my prints uh, when they're silk screen prints because they're done by hand and it's like a lot more work than to just print stuff off from a computer or like get a company to do it which is why it'd be so pricier but I'm just cutting these to size for the most part I only packaged up like two of them just to see how they would look but it looks like it's going well, so I'm excited to go back and do more of them. Okay, I just came back from the mail room. <sighs> but yeah, I got a bunch of stuff from the mail room. And I tried to package some of my prints, but we're going to do that now on camera. But I did this one. Um, and then I brought back just a bunch of other prints that I need to package. So I'm just going to put this on my desk, <laughs> running out of space on my desk. But we got these packaging. So those are for the big ones. And then we got, oh, this is heavy, the chipboard. I have 50 of them. And I counted, I actually don't have more than 50 prints to sell. So I was like, OMG, was not expecting that. But I still need to print some stuff this week. So maybe I will fill up the holes that way. But we have, these are for the smaller prints that are coming in later this week. We have these sticky guys, which I can start working on now so I can put a price tag on every single piece. These are for the ceramic babies. And then this is just storage for like on my actual setup so I can put the stickers in there so they're not like flying away because I'm really worried about um, the wind. We have these little baggies. I don't really know what I'm going to use these for yet, but like they look nice and they were cheap. I got a cork board. So this is going to be the main piece of my display. It comes with a stand and it just like stands like this by itself. And this seems pretty sturdy, hopefully wind resistant. I don't know. So we're going to see how it goes. Okay, is my desk a mess? Yes. Do I want to talk about it? No. But we're going to fill up this little container first. I have all my baggies of stickers. I think I want to do, there's nine slots, so I can do this one. Will stickers like these even fit? I'm not sure. Oh, oh my God, perfect. It's like it was meant to be. Okay, we can do a flower cat one, which means these ones will also fit. We'll do the sparkly baby bunnies. Some of the more miscellaneous stickers that I have, so like here. I guess I can go ahead and just put them in here because I can just rearrange the drawers. But these are the glitter girl, the glitter gamer girl stickers. Oh my God, they fit like perfectly. That's amazing. Sorry about the side of that side. These are all the heart ones. Let's just go ahead and throw some of these in here. So satisfying, so cute. There we go. We can take a bunch of these heart ones. Actually, we'll put it up here. I'm just putting in whatever I anticipate is gonna sell well. Obviously, I have literally no idea, so I'm basically just guessing. I'm gonna have to make these into packs for sure. These are the baby bunny sets. I'm just gonna put the tiny thank you ones in here. And did I do the whale sharks? I did not do the whale sharks. The whale shark one. And then since I had all of the new flower cat stickers in here, I might as well do one with these little guys. So there we go. So there they all are. Apparently we don't have many of these, but I'm gonna make some of these into sets. So I'll just take one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's do six of them. One, two, three, four, five, six. I can also always just make more on the spot that day, which is partially what I'm preparing to do. But yeah, let's go ahead and make some of these into packs as well. Woo! So right now, 
I'm just putting these in little baggies. I already have them all laid out here on the desk. You can see they're just chilling. So we have them in little piles already and then I just put them in the bag. This with a business card and I literally in my mind keep going back and forth between whether this is over preparing or under preparing literally have no idea still i might sell only like two things that day who knows it could happen <laughs> i'm gonna prepare anyway because honestly um don't know what else i'd be doing since i can't Oop. Mm. So these are the polka dot bags. They're pretty cute. They actually are working really well for fitting a business card inside, which is not something I could do before with my old packaging. Also, it's kind of nice that my business card has two different uh, colors to each side because the last ones I did with the gamer girls, I could use like the blue side because it fit better, but this one has the bunnies so I can use the pink side. I don't think anyone literally cares about this at all when they're buying this stuff, but like I care about it when I'm packaging it. So it'd be in my brain, but. I also have to go through and sort out my prints, sign them, staple a business card, do all that, uh, all that good fun stuff. Okay, I'm currently setting up my cork board and I figured it just looks so much better if I don't have these pins everywhere and I just like stick them on. Cause also some of these are clear stickers or they were actually supposed to be clear stickers. Apparently these are not clear stickers, which is fine. Is this one a clear sticker though? This one's a clear sticker, I can tell. I think I messed up the, the settings on that one, but I figured I'll just stick them on because they look so much like better. They look cleaner this way. Wow, this is so satisfying. Yeah, I think, yeah, all the stickers are gonna be $2 and then the small ones will be one, so. I love these new flower cat ones. I think they're so cute, especially this heart one. It's very like Powerpuff Girl vibes. I think that's why I love it so much. We're gonna go ahead and stick all of these. This is actually the first time I've used the new flower cat stickers because I did not have a chance to use them yet. This is actually the old flower cat sticker. Um, and then once I sell these, there is not going to be any more because this is going to be the new colorway. It's kind of how I've been doing my stickers is like, if I don't like the colorway enough, I just won't repurchase them. So there will just be however many I bought. Wow, glitter ones. Let's see if this one's a clear sticker. I think this one is. Yes. So I think this will be a little clear sticker section. These are the first times I've done prismatic stickers, which is what these backgrounds are. It's a big fish mouth. Puppy. I don't love this sign, but I don't hate it. So I'm gonna keep it for now. This one's the only one left, I think. Oh my God, this is so fun. There we go. Yes, so these I'm going to clamp on. So it comes with two of these. Why I'm not entirely sure, but like I will use them go just for like aesthetics you know there we go cute okay this is currently the setup i made a couple of these because i figured like this will be a lot easier to set out than i don't know having to explain to people constantly what everything is so i'm making these like for the packs that i have so we have the flower cat one the whale shark one and the gamer girl one and right now i am working on the little heart stickers so i figured let's do this together so i've been using these command strips because i'm out of the normal command hook thing that i use but we're gonna start by outlining this since the plastic is so clear that no one can probably see what's going on. And then I'm going to just go around one more time to kind of make this a better looking outline. I don't really need anything to look perfect. That's why I'm using like a really thick Sharpie because I kind of like the look of things being hand drawn. So now I'm going to figure out my layout for this. I think instead of overlapping these, we'll just do it like this because I really love this design. This is probably one of the jankier ways to do this. Modern problems require modern solutions, so it is what it is. <laughs> One thing I do like about using this is that I'm able to like readjust things because for the other ones that I made without using this specific thing, I could not. Stick and stick. I'm gonna title it heart three pack three. And I'm gonna put a wow here just because I feel like this is awkward spacing. While I'm decorating, I'm gonna get my, where's my Copic? 
put a little heart here. I've been doing these hearts to signify like the prices for things. Just fill it in a little better. Three strikes, you're out. Okay, that feels dry enough. So this one's gonna be four dollars. Anytime there's an awkward spacing, I just throw a exclamation mark in there. It solves most problems, you know? But yeah, I just realized I forgot to add a star on the gamer girl. But yep, here are all the ones I've done so far. I feel like they're pretty cute. Always need more light in this room. But all right, it is getting to the end of the night. So I wanna show you guys what I did today. So we have this. On the back, I'm gonna put notes for myself to just know like how everything is priced because I know I will forget. So here we have that. And then I put some custom stickers. These say glitter $3 because the glitter ones are gonna have to be $3. Um, but we have that. I'm gonna just leave this here. And then I finished all of these ones and I think these are all the ones I have to make. So they don't look as nice when they're all together, but like we have the gamer girl one. Someone driving by with the loudest music right now. Anyway, ignoring the sounds of the city, we have the gamer girl ones, and then we have the sticker pack ones. So this one's really cute. This one's like a three pack. This one is another three pack for the whale sharks. And then we have the flower cat stickers. And lastly, we have the baby bunny stickers. And this is like the largest panel I have. But yeah, I'm excited. This is gonna go so well, hopefully. So I will see you guys tomorrow with some more preparation stuff. And so I actually had to cut this vlog into two parts because it was getting way too long. But for the next part, we will be packaging more things and getting ready for the sale. And I will also be vlogging the actual sale in the next vlog. So keep an eye out for that. Stay hydrated, take a nap, and I will see you guys when I see you guys. Bye, everyone. Thanks for watching.